Cosquitch with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Cockroach Terminator. The mutated Spyroach and <laughs> mortal enemy of Raphael. Now when I first saw this uh, character on the show, I absolutely loved it. I mean, uh, a mutated version of a cockroach that transforms him into an unstoppable killing machine, which is like what the Terminator was. I, I just... I thought it was phenomenal, and I love that kind of crossover sort of thing. When I saw the figure coming out, I was like, oh, that's going to be pretty cool. And I'm pretty happy to actually have found, finally found him. Um, now, there's a couple problems that I do have with it, but we'll touch on that here in a little, a little bit. But you got the nice Ninja Turtle packaging with the purple and the green. You got the nice turtle shell clam clamshell package right there, really very nice. Come around here to the back, you got other figures that are currently available, as well as a little bio. And it says, meet the biggest and toughest insect ever. Cockroach Terminator was once Donnie's little spy before falling into a container of mutagen ooze and mutating into an unstoppable monster. He is ready to destroy anything that crosses his way, including the turtles. Anyone who pesters this insect should be ready to be stung. Now his weapons are a saw blade, a crane blaster, and Donatello spy gear, which is built into him. And then it says that his team is the crane evil aliens. That's really not all that true. He pretty much hates everybody. Specifically Specifically, Raph, because when he was just a little teeny tiny cockroach, if you recall, well, Raph freaked out and tried to kill him. So now that he's a big, imposing monster, he basically just wants to get to Raph. So uh, his affiliation really isn't all that accurate. But there you have it. So as you can see, there is some assembly. You got his antenna right here that need to get plugged in, and then you have the saw blade, which has to get plugged in right there, which that's one of the problems I'll talk about here in a second. So without further ado, let's get him open and see how cool he actually is. All right, so here we have the Cockroach Terminator open up and out of its packaging. And as I said, there's a little bit of assembly that's required. So what you need to do is take this and you got the hole in his head. Just rotate that, get that in there. And I'm, I'm assuming that's all you do, but uh, that's kind of... Weird looking. Uh, well, nah, I don't know about all that. That's in his legs. Oh boy. All right, you really gotta push that down there to get it all the way down. But so here he is. Now, right off the bat, he doesn't look all that bad. I, I think the the look of him is actually pretty good. I mean, you do get that sense that he's fused with technology. You got the little silver bits in here. You got the arm bits like he had in the cartoon on the outside. You got the big eyepiece right up in there. You got this thing sticking out of his back. But what I don't get is this gigantic hole in his torso. I mean, it goes all the way through. You can see that. I, I honestly have no clue why that's there other than maybe saying, okay, we shot him and it went right through him and he still hasn't stopped. I don't get it. The, the, I don't remember seeing that in the cartoon. I could be completely wrong, but I don't remember seeing it. So that's really just strange to me at first i thought that this actually went inside of him and came out there like if it like it pegged in there i didn't know that it went all the way through so i, I thought that was going to be where his saw weapon came from but as it is i don't even see where you would put this i mean we we saw this in the show we didn't see where it came from on the actual character but I, I thought I thought that that's where it would be, and maybe that's what it's supposed to be. It, it, it maybe that's the gimmick for it. I, I I honestly don't know, but it's really weird. Now, like I said, you do have the saw weapon. Uh, it doesn't rotate or anything, and it's got this nice texturing on here, which kind of makes it look like the wire is kind of similar to what he has here on his arms. And then this doesn't spin or anything like that, but that's pretty nice. I do like it. It's not as serrated as, as a saw would be, but you get the idea. But that's all he comes with it for his accessories. Now, the back of the packaging says that he comes or has a, a crane weapon. Well, the, the toy doesn't actually come with it. Now, despite the weirdness of, of this and the weirdness of that, I actually do really like the figure. Scale-wise, he fits in fairly nicely with the turtles. I mean, he really wasn't all that big. So, for a comparison, here he is. <laughs> and, of course, I had to bring out Raphael to do the size comparison. The, the size really is pretty close to what I remember seeing on the actual cartoon. 
So I dig that. It works for me. He's not too small like a lot of the other villains are. So for me, this is a perfect size representation of this character. And just in general, is a, is a nice looking guy. Now, uh, his head is on just the swivel. It'll look left and right. That really is it. It doesn't look up and down. The shoulders here are on these pin and socket joints. They move up and down like so. They rotate all the way around. He has a elbow joint. It also rotates at the at the elbow, so really nice. And then nothing here at the wrist, and that's the same on this arm. Now this thing, this I think it rotates. Yeah, that that rotates uh, right there. But you're, what are you really gonna do with that? So there's a little articulation in his extra little. T-Rex arm thing, but now the way that they did his his hips here is really kind of strange uh, His legs only move in and out. Uh, they do rotate But you can't do anything really with that So uh, I, I really wish that they would have put this rotation uh, As a forward and back rotation instead of an in and out kind of rotation. Uh, I don't know Maybe they did it so that he could crawl I guess Let, Let's see. Can you replicate that? Well, you kind of can, I, I suppose, something like that. But it, it's it's really weird how they decided to do the articulation here on the on the hips for the guy. It's it's not what I would have chose to do. I, I prefer forward and back in, instead of the in and out motion. It just it works better for me. But I, honestly, like I said, I do like the figure. There, there's some weirdness about it. There's no doubt about it. But it's it's still a very nice looking figure and I think it's well worth picking up to have added to your Ninja Turtle collection. The Cockroach Terminator, I mean after all, was the only thing that we've ever seen Raphael super duper terrified of. So for that alone I would almost recommend having this guy in your collection. It's just really cool and like I said, the mixture of, of a cockroach which is darn near impossible to destroy anyhow and the Terminator which also is darn near impossible to destroy. You combine the two and you got a funny thing right here. So I really do dig it. This is a new character uh, in the new Transformer or Ninja Turtle franchise that wasn't around previously, and I totally dig it. So I do hope we see him more now. He did uh, molt and leave his form here and became a big, giant, flying jelly monster or something. So hopefully he re solidifies into something like this, although he's going to be much bigger that time around. But eh, we'll see. Only time will tell. But beyond that, I, I really do dig the guy, and I think he's well worth picking up. So having said that, he is available right now in stores, but if you're not able to find him there, go ahead and click on the link down in the video description. You go to Big Bad Toy Store, where you can check out their selection of Ninja Turtle items, and hopefully add this guy to your collection today. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomous. Keep in touch with me. Find out recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at Facebook.com slash TeamBotomous. And follow me over on Twitter at Twitter.com slash And until next time, I'll talk to you later.